The uh, second tranche of payments, we, uh, I'd like to get them out sooner rather than later. I actually had hoped to do it in October, and this is where OMB came back in and uh, asked us to hold back. Part of the reason for that is uh, there's not a good farmer in America, not a farmer in America, that would rather not have a good crop at a fair price than a government check. And so the second tranche is there to continue to incentivize our negotiators to get trade done and resolved. And, and the good news is we're moving, making progress in that. We got the South Korea deal, we got uh, the Canadian and the Mexican deal done, now we're moving to EU and Japan and on to where China realizes they're going to be isolated in the fair and free trade area of this world and hopefully they'll come along and stop stealing our stuff and play fair. Thank you. Mr. Secretary, there's a plan in the hands of your chief economist as well as your deputy secretary for over a month. It's called the Repke Plan that supports farm income immediately by raising loan levels 155% and makes the corn loan 303, the soybean loan 775 immediately, but it's a volunteer no cost program because it's a recourse loan with a 1% higher interest rate. And to address the ethanol industry, Jeff's concerns as well as corn growers' concerns, it immediately takes all nationwide pumps from 10% to 11%. And that consumes another 500 million bushel of this year's corn crop. And the courts or the, the lawyers aren't going to be able to stop that. Can you present that to the farmers at your next stop as well as send it out through your farm service agencies to the Minnesota uh, uh, farmers, to the South Dakota and North Dakota farmers? Because you said you like farmer input, they will immediately tell you we want the option to use the Repke plan to support farm income and put a lot more ethanol on the market immediately than compared to e E15. Sir, as you know, you just gave me that uh, document as I walked in. I here. did. I'm, I'm happy to look at it. I haven't had a chance to look at it. We went right into the meeting and it sounds uh, innovative and creative and we'll look at all kind of ideas. I'm looking for anything that can make farming by sustainable. And the best opportunity to make farming sustainable is to make it profitable again. So we'll look at that. I appreciate that, sir. One more question. 